Hey everyone, this is Comics Villain. Welcome to another episode of Indie Spotlight. Today we'll be discussing Feast or Famine, Collected Edition. Uh, this is a sci-fi comic book series starring alternate versions of Einstein and Tesla by Alterna Comics. Well, well. Uh, it's by Dave Swartz. He's got one campaign going. It's really close to being funded. It's, it's like just less than $100 uh, by 167 backers, so $4,902 almost there almost to the five thousand dollar goal they just have eight days left so they're just looking for a few people that might be able to give um just enough for this and i mean they they looks like they have you know good tiers that aren't really really too expensive or anything um but <clears throat> if you're looking to give a lot you know you'll get a lot because i see there's a lot of um tiers with items like magnets or shirts uh, lanyards, so on. I mean, I let's let's actually let's look into this. So the twenty-five dollar one, you get digital copy of the comic, physical, a T-shirt, a Tachyon Labs button, a Tachyon Labs access badge. Fifteen of thirty of these claimed. Okay, so they they're limited, so you might want to get in on this. Let's click out of that. <clears throat> so for four dollars, looks like you get the magnet, uh, the new reward. For hitting 2000, the $2,000 mark, I'm adding this new reward. Get a 5x3 Feast or Famine Magnet featuring Tesca and Stein ready for battle. Tesca and Stein. That's that's interesting. I, I kind of did something similar with, with uh, one of my characters. Um, it'll be fun for people to try to figure that one out. Um, so digital copy is included with this one. $5. That's perfect price perfect price and i love that people do this i love that creators content creators do this uh five dollars for the retro cover variant hmm. variant issue number one so you get the digital copy as uh let's see hold on um due to popular demand we'll be offering the retro cover as an indiegogo exclusive variant comic with this perk we receive a digital copy of the collected edition of feast and famine plus a copy of an indiegogo exclusive retro cover so are they both digital Oh, I can't tell. And then this one is the sticker pack. So you're getting, uh, you're just getting the stickers, which is cool. <clears throat> I mean, six six dollars isn't really all that much, so it's not not a bad idea. Coasters, what? All right, all right. Um, so as far as coasters are concerned, that's that's cool. It's interesting. Um, I think for those that want to just add more to uh, to a campaign, this is this is kind of a cool idea to start adding little items here and there. Um, <laughs> coasters, that's kind of cool. Uh, so, so in in my opinion, what's a first? Well, okay, I shouldn't say that. Um, when I go to my friend's house, first thing I always I always see there, and I, I always remember, is this weird coaster he has. I don't know where he got I think he got it from his folks. It was like a housewarming gift or something. And it looks like Abe Lincoln's picture, but um, but like it looks like it's broken up into blocks and, and reorganized and it almost you can you can still tell it's Abe Lincoln, but it just it looks weird. Um, I feel like that is the one thing I remember most well about their home <laughs> of all the things is the coaster. So something about the coasters it's like it's like the heart of the home so yeah yeah this this might be a good perk for you to get if you've already contributed and picked up the perk for the uh for the book itself so for the physical copy and uh these are all november mostly these are all december 2019 but there is one that's november that's the uh, digital copy so maybe it's the uh later end of the, the month um, so ten uh, for ten dollars, you get the physical copy. You get newsprint editions. Hmm. Uh, because I'll turn it right. Uh, so get the whole collection of Feast or Famine, including all three original single issues, printed on newsprint, and a physical copy of the collected edition, all signed by writer color uh, writer and colorist Dave Swartz. Only four left. So there's there's not much left if you guys are interested in getting this. Uh, for the t-shirt, three or fifty claimed, just fifteen dollars. Looks kinda cool. Um, it's it's got a lot of the same color scheme, so that's that's nice. Uh, retro print, what taught me this? 
don't know what this is. Um, retro print cover. It looks cool. I like that. A lot of love goes into these kinds of designs, you know. So issue number one, cover print. Uh, just need the cover of issue number one on your wall. I hear you. Get a digital copy of the book plus a Feast or Famine uh, issue number one cover print signed by Dave Swartz. Issue number two cover print um, as well as issue number three. So they're, they're, uh, they're all being sold separately here. Retro cover print. So this perk is for your old school comic book fans. Get a digital and physical copy of the book plus a limited edition Retro Feast or Famine cover print, all signed by Dave Swartz. Man, there's a lot. There's a lot to choose from. Which is good. Which is good to have um, a lot of choice here. <clears throat> so, uh, this is one print and uh, book choose one print. Okay, that's nice. That's an 11 by 17. One print for the five uh, from the five prints they have. Okay, well, this one is five physical copies. Yeah, I, I wonder if I'm going to do something like that. And I, whoops. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, more, more, uh, I, yeah, I think more people should have these in their uh, campaigns. You should have, you know, these retailer combos, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever, whatever works. Um, and be able to also discuss with the uh, uh, content creator, the one running the campaign, you know, if you're a retailer, hey, man, could I get a deal for like 30 or 40 of these? Um, it would be nice to see something like that in the campaign, but at the same time, I'd imagine that any retailer would probably already just go and try to talk to them, I guess, or ask them. Um, you know, it could be something as simple as in an email, you could state this in the campaign itself, in an email, please uh, put as your uh, subject line, um, a, a retailer requesting multiple issues, something like that. That would be kind of cool. Uh, three print combo and book. So let's see. You get digital copy, physical, and issue one, two, and three cover prints. So if you want those cover prints, then you can get this one at forty dollars. Whoa! What is going on here? I know. I'm seeing Spider Man. Man, this is crazy. Look at all these. There's a lot. Not that that's bad. I'm just saying. There's there's a lot here. All right, so there's a 5x7 mini commission. Let me just see what this says. Um, like, Peter Smitty does uh, commissions, too. Like, little... I don't know if they're mini commissions, but it looked like it. Get a one-of-a-kind 5x7 mini commission of your favorite char character. Um, plus a digital copy of the book of the collected edition. Signed by writer and colorist Dave Swartz. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, so let's see. This one is 5x7 plus the physical and digital. What was that? Okay, so that's really the only difference is your one of these is a digital, the other has digital and physical. So it's like $10 more. Portfolio review. Digital comic, physical comic, 15 minute Skype call. Hmm. Are you an aspire? This is a first. A lot of these are firsts uh, that I've, I've seen. I don't even know how many I've done of these indie spotlights, to be honest with you, but I don't think I've ever seen a portfolio review via Skype. So that is rather interesting. Um, so you're getting physical and digital copies, which, you know, okay, this, this, th that might not be a bad idea, you know. <clears throat> Are you an aspiring artist? Get a 15 minute portfolio review with Dave Swartz, plus a digital and physical copy of the Feast or Famine Collected Edition. Signed by Dave Swartz. Now think about that for a second, because 15 minutes times, say, let me see, was there an amount that, no, zero claimed. Okay, so there, there's no upper limit on this. So technically he could have, it would be crazy, but let's just say, uh, he could have a thousand people get this. 
Yeah, it'd be a lot of money. You'd be doing um, what, 15 minutes times 1,000. <laughs> 1,000 people. Woo wee. Um, so that's, that's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, pen and ink commission. Get a digital copy of the Feast and Famine plus a one of a kind and an 8x10 pen and ink commission of any character of your choosing done by Dave Swartz. But that's okay, so that's just the digital. Then over here, see, the, that must mean okay, so you see here it does say Samedi sketch now added. Is this not Peter Samedi on this side? Because I'm, I'm starting to wonder if that's Peter Samedi as well. Because he does a lot of those kinds. <clears throat> So this is a very special and limited perk. Someone already claimed it too. You get the uh, copies, digital, physical, issue number one, retro cover variant, and you get the uh, Peter Smitty sketch. I'm curious what Peter Smitty charges on his own. Hmm. Whoops, ah, oh. shucks. Sorry guys, let me get back to this. My apologies. Dang, we made a lot of progress on that too. All right, so let's go back. <laughs> Don't know where we were. <laughs> now we're right here. Uh, eight by ten pen and ink commission for sixty dollars. For eight, uh, for seventy, it's it's an eight by ten watercolor commission. So I'm thinking this is the digital, and this is going to be the physical because it's ten dollars more, just like uh, uh, previous. So three out of ten. Ooh, very nice. Okay, three three people already got that. Uh, one hour drawing lesson. Very interesting. One hour. So a lot of this is teaching. So. You know, that's that's not a bad thing. It's definitely not a bad thing. Um, looks like it's probably going to be digital. Oh, this is digital and physical plus 60 minute call. So what's the next one? Hmm. Cover topics like digital painting techniques, lighting and shadows, creating mood. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe I'm missing something for the previous. Huh. So this one, it, it does have, it looks like it has maybe a few different things going on uh, in, com in comparison to, the, to one another. So, okay. <clears throat> this is the last one, last and final, $250. Three out of eight people, uh, three out of eight claimed. So, wow. 750. Um, got a comic of your own? What? What? Uh, with this perk, Dave will create a full color cover variant for your comic book. Plus, you get the digital and physical uh, for it. So, cover variant for your comic. What is going on? Are you serious? That's cool. All right. Man, uh, Dave, you. <laughs> You really, you really gave so many options. This is insane. Um, all right, all right, let, let's check this out. Whew. I think I spent like like 10 minutes doing that. I mean, it's cool. Um, <clears throat> overview, now you can get a copy of the Feast and Famine Collected Edition by Alterna Comics. Over 100 pages of retro sci-fi starring alter uh, sorry, alternate versions of Nikolai Tesla and Albert Einstein. Partnering together, Tes Tesca and Stein, as they are known in the story, embark on a space adventure where they find robots, aliens, zombies, and some gnarly ice bears, too. Oh, interesting. Uh, so, sorry, I said gnarly. Some grizzly, grizzly ice bears, too. <clears throat> but soon, their amazement turns to horror when the secret of the alien city is revealed. Welcome to the Feast, War, Famine, Collected Edition pre-order campaign. Hello fellow comic book fan. I'm glad you've decided to check out this campaign. This is your chance to get a copy of the hit indie sci-fi series, Feast or Famine. If you've never seen or read the Feast or Famine comic book series before, I bet you're wondering what it's about. The quick and dirty answer is a retro space adventure starring Nikolai Tesla and Albert Einstein. I love that concept. Uh, sounds pretty Sounds pretty cool, right? That's what I thought when I created the original comic book series for Alterna Comics two years ago. Huh. Yeah, the art's really interesting. <clears throat> so, 
so they created it two years ago for Alterna. The final issue just hit stores this April. We were planning to collect all three issues into a beautiful, high quality soft cover book featuring the entire original story and some extras we'll be revealing. Sorry, it says will we revealing soon. We'll be revealing soon. Uh, what we need and what you get. This will be the only chance to reserve a copy of this special collected edition before anyone else has a chance to. Issue 2 has already sold out, and the others are very close, so it's safe to say this collected edition will be in high demand. Along with the book, you'll also have exclusive access to the other Feast or Famine rewards, including t-shirts, stickers, prints, commissions, and more. See, full, uh, see below for a full perk gallery. <clears throat> Our goal is 5000 and all of it will go straight into the printing and shipping cost of the campaign. Who am I and who is Alterna Comics? Hmm. Sorry, when I, if I ever correct anything um, that I'm reading or whatever, um, I'm not doing that out of, you know, I'm not trying to be insulting or hateful or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just saying. I think it would be maybe more correct to say who am I and what is Alterna Comics? I mean, I don't know, unless you're trying to say something else with the who. <clears throat> My name is Dave Swartz, it's a, and it's a comic... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm reading two different lines. My name is Dave Swartz, and it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm a comic book creator that has been writing, drawing, coloring, lettering comics for five years. Oh, yeah. So he's... he's sounds like he's done a lot of it, a lot of this comic book. He's done probably everything for this, right? Um, so in 2015, I self-published a graphic novel called Atlas origins about a metaphysical superhero i've contributed to several short stories in the anthologies it came out on a wednesday oh perfect i like that series and the if series from alterna feast or famine is my first published series that i have both wrote and colored along with the industry veteran joseph cooper who did a uh, flash and bloodshot Ooh, cool uh, I'm also currently illustrating and coloring two other projects I can't talk about yet. <clears throat> uh, I've also ran four successful crowdfunding campaigns, totaling over $20,000. Wow. So there's the Alterna Comics logo, if you guys haven't seen it, which most most people that have actually... Uh, most people that are in comics, especially those that know indie, will know... Uh, whoops. Will know Alterna Comics. Alterna Comics has been publishing comics and graphic novels for almost 15 years. That's crazy. Their titles are distributed worldwide in bookstores. Um, I've, I've heard about I've heard about some of the stories from Peter. Um, things being shipped. Uh, I think there's a story about some shipment going to Italy, and I think I think they may have lost it or they might have gotten damaged, something like that. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, distributed worldwide in bookstores and online in the old-style newsprint from the 90s. Their titles include all genres and age ranges. I was wondering, do you guys have any comics from the 90s? I actually, I, man, I, it's like the majority of my books, majority of my comics are from the 90s and 80s. <laughs> Those are the best times. Um, uh, with stories that truly bring alternative stories to the indie comics landscape. With titles like the critically acclaim, acclaimed, uh, the chair. Yep. Uh, if you guys don't know, that is already a, um, I guess like a movie series or a series. I shouldn't say movie. It's, it's like a, it's like a series. Um, it's either on Amazon or Hulu. I, I forget. But uh, definitely check it out. <clears throat> There's the Trespasser, Psycho Co, Midnight Mystery, and Wicked Righteousness. Sorry, it keeps uh, zooming in there. Um, and many more. Perk Gallery. Get a closer look at the, all the perk options. So we already checked some of these out. There's um, five art prints, a t-shirt, single issue, comics, uh, and commission examples. There's quite a bit here, but this is all separate, so you can take a look at, um, at everything they has to offer. So there's always risks and challenges to these. Uh, if it doesn't get funded, there's no guarantee that you're going to get it. Let's see what it says, though. The best part of the campaign is the book is all done. It says the book it all done. Um, it just needs to go to print, and they will be ready and waiting at your door before the end of the year. So, um, nowhere in the campaign did it exactly say that you know it's 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 a done deal. 
only if they get up to the $5,000 goal. So I, I, I really don't know um, if it'll be refunded or what. But in any case, because, you know, there, there are campaigns that I've um, done on this with Indie Spotlight uh, that didn't reach their goal, but the creator still sent out um, the book, you know, so still he got maybe he got funded enough or the book was already done and he wanted to put it out there so <clears throat> so in any case uh guys i hope you like this uh please support um indie comics support alterna comics especially <laughs> uh, they have a lot of great content at good prices good reasonable prices and this this showed me a lot this showed me something special i think that you have so many options to be able to support and uh, give um, it's it's a fantastic thing to do for the fans of comics, and um, especially the ending here um, or the uh, the end of this, these uh, perks, these tiers, you get you get um, these like one hour drawing lesson, one hour coloring lesson, um, and they'll do a cover variant for your comic. That is a lot that I've never seen. There's a lot that I've never seen in this one campaign. <laughs> Um, I feel like it should be it should be way up there already. Um, I'm curious if this can get onto um, other people's sh you know shows or, or or whatever on YouTube. If unless it already has, um, yeah. I, I I don't know. I haven't been following this one very well. Um, I've actually been um, actually I was I was not feeling too well the past few days. So I've, I've been resting up. Um, past month I've been pretty darn busy. But in any case. I, I, I hope more people, you know, can maybe try to do that, um, and uh, we can get Dave uh, up to his goal and beyond. Uh, so yeah, in any case, hope you guys liked it. Um, please hit that subscribe button. Help me reach that 1,000 subscriber milestone. I'm really trying to get up there. Uh, like, share, comment on what you think. Um, if if you are getting this, uh, which tier are you getting? I'm actually interested in getting this myself. Um, it looks like a fun idea, and I'd like to see it. Um, I really, really would like to see it pull through and, and hit its goal. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a great rest of your day.